How is everybody doing on this very warm and sultry Easter Saturday? I am your host, Blue Hair K, and we're going to be streaming live a couple of Rock League matches from this year's PGB League Season 3. Just to give you a quick reminder as to what we're doing for PGB League Season 3, we have four leagues running this year. Rock League, Star League, Moon League and Crown League. Now the Rock League is pretty much like the beginner level, entry level people that are just starting to learn how to play Poo Poo competitively, mixed in with a couple of last year's uh, lower ended um, beginner league players. Um, that's going to run from the 6th through to the 20th of April, so this is the weekend in which um, we are streaming those matches. Next week is going to be the Star League, which is like the main beginner league, beginner to upper intermediate or lower intermediate level I should say. That will run for the next two weeks from the 21st of April through to the 3rd of May. The Moon League is pretty much the semi-pro tier, so higher intermediate, lower pro. And that's going to run from the 4th to the 17th of May. And then, of course, the Pro League, our Crown League, which will run from the 18th through to the 31st of May. And, of course, playoffs will happen. People that finish second in Rock League will play second to bottom in Star League, etc. and so forth. We've still got active promotion to motion. That will all take place on the 31st of May. Of course, the Rock League is going to be a first of five contest, and that pretty much is it. So get ourselves in and around and let people know that we are indeed here. Ask them that they are ready, they have my blessing to start right away. So we'll get the alley cam up and running because I'm pretty certain no one no one's here gonna be playing at alley. But we've got uh, interesting. Right then, so Poopy 2 rules, it's just classic Puyo, which you've all accustomed to in last year's uh BGB League Season 2. This league is a Puyo only league. Done away with Tetris, we're going straight for Puyo only. So, into commentary and first two chain really of the match going to Random Zombie. Oh, lovely free chain there using that garbage fantastically well it is. Oh, and the all clear, but not gone for it. Interesting from, uh, from where Hog Fury. Or is he looking for a grander way of getting an all clear? I don't think it's going to be there. He is actually building up a nice chain by the looks of things. Good little play there from Random Zombie. Oh, this looks powerful. 40 for 1, 80 for 11, 40 for 60. Is that 70 for 36? Yes, it is. That's a huge 4 chain, and that's going to take the game away from Random Zombie. So, first blood to Werehog Fury as it goes 1 0. Just a reminder about the Rock League, it is first to five games wins the set. And just like before, if any player wins by three or more points, they will receive a bonus point. Three points for the win. And if you lose. My nice little free chain immediately from Werehog. A nice little counter there from Random Zombie. I'll tell you what, it's not really a blocked by any stretch of the imagination. Notice that uh, Werehog has actually changed the way he plays. He had this really weird thing of doing one free stairs, which is almost as uh, peculiar as GTR special. Oh look at this lovely power chain. Power chain for power chain. Oh, that free chain really nothing from Random Zombie. And Ragnus the Brave. Being played here by uh, Werehog Fury. Oh, is that going to block him? Yes, it does. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Live by the sword, you die by it, and um, Werehog is tuning it up. Alright then, looking at it from this perspective, it looks pretty good. Nice little stairs build here from Zombie. Oh, I mentioned about the, uh, the one free stairs, and it looks as if... Um, it's kind of there. A so random zombie just needs to get blows. He's got blows. I'll tell you what, that doesn't conflict. It's going to be a nice power five. <laughs> Three oranges on the backswing. Nothing that two chains is going to do about that at all. Of course, it means Werehog suffers his first loss in this contest. Random zombie reclaims one. But Werehog still leads by two games to one. Oh, you'll be 
Fiesta. So, interesting. This theory. Again, random zombie looking at stairs as some kind of a uh, setup. It's not a bad setup actually for stairs. Oh, four chain coming up. Needs to be careful now. He has to abandon, go for the free chain. That will counter about half of it. Not exactly buried him completely. He'll get some kind of chain off. The question is, no, he's just gonna just gonna clear some garbage, try and get himself into um, a position where he can use those reds at some point. Single chain there from uh, Werehog trying to mitigate some of that damage to tear that down to just the solitary garbage that drops safely on the screen. It's looking okay for Werehog actually. Reds look good for a free chain. That's a big, that's a big free chain. Look at that. That's eight Puyo, nine Puyos erased. Ninety for twenty-two. That's a shed load of garbage that's just fallen safely. In great amounts on zombie screen. Free chain now from Werehog. Good awareness. Packing zombie away. Good stuff, this. Okay, first single chain there to zombie. Single go landing on top of the green cell. Where whole side of the field. This is very... This is pretty interesting. He's got... I mean, he's got some kind of GTR. He's going to go for a free chain. Where's the purple? Nowhere to be found. That's going to be blocked. Now then, zombie needs to try and find a way to dig out of this situation because impetus is very much with Werehog. Single chain isn't really going to do anything. That power two, however, is. Oh, that's nearly an orange worth of garbage on the back swing. Uh, the other name for uh, orange, the orange garbage symbol in this, which kind of looks red in a way. Oh, can he rotate it over? Yes, he can, but that's still going to take him out. And it's 4-1 to Werehog as he's now on match point. He's got the bonus points at the moment. As I was saying about the orange garbage symbol, it's also known as a rock, and of course, in this league, all of the league tiers are based on yes, garbage symbol. Oh, nice eight garbage there being turfed over onto Werehog there, caught on the frame as well. Oh, nice full chain this against the three. A bit of tennis. Oh, that's a nice amount of garbage. It's going to take it down to just under 18. But yeah, some of those resources are buried. Now then. Random Zombie, is he able to get himself into a position where he can take... Oh, he's got to be careful, Werehog! That's a bad mistake! Random Zombie takes that game away. Of course, if Werehog wins this match... Oh, sorry, if he wins this game to take the match... As early exchanges are neutralised, he will get the bonus point by virtue of winning five games to two. But of course, what Zombie needs to do is try and make it so that Werehog doesn't have that option. This is a nice little thing for him. Is he going to go for the chain? Yes, he is. He's got a nice little five chain there. Oh, nice power three. He's going to send that back. 24 on the back swing. Nicely done by Random Zombie. Now then, he needs another chain off. The one thing, one thing that uh, Werehog does have to his advantage is it can be pretty quick. And his mid-game is not too bad, actually. Nice little block there and Zombie now needs to do a bit more. Hey, this is interesting. I think, it's, I think he might have gone the wrong way there. Oh, that's a really nice power chain there from Werehog. He's scouting for the win. Now then, Zombie's got a lot of digging to do, but I have a feeling Werehog just needs a purple and he has safely negotiated himself into a position of safety. Not that it matters anyway, because Zombie kind of done himself out there. So as it happens, Werehog Fury takes the match, five games to do, and gets the bonus point. Well played all round. It's going to be Werehog Fury versus GB24741. 
やるのか。You know what? I think we'll bring in the s e r i t y can. Dispatch. Here we go. So, yes, if, so yes, give you a couple of,、uh, give you a bit of flavour between these players. So, oh, nice little free chain immediately. From GB with a nice free chain in return from Werehog. So, GB attended the Play Expo Margate tournament. Back in February of this year, which was hosted by myself and Rory the Fiend. A s f o r chain in return here from Werehog. Of course, Werehog took part in the Reflect tournament. Nice little top up of garbage there. g m o v e it all to do. As I was saying, that、um, Werehog joined in the Reflect tournament. There, GB trying to get something, but nothing there. And Werehog takes the game and goes 1 0 up. Hey, well, there's an all clear opportunity here. There is an all clear opportunity here, but unfortunately, GB's missed it. And I'd like to know what、um, Werehog's doing. I did have a counter there, but just squandered it. Manages to tank about half the garbage. Block there from GB. Not sure what. It's better. So I'm not quite sure what, uh, what、um, where, where Hulk was doing there. Managed to get another two chain offs. Big Single is back down to his resources, so that digging has been successful. Oh, he's going for free chain that way. He's doing lots of Puyos, and that unfortunately is going to take、uh, GB out of it. 2 to Werehog. You can see that. Obviously, with Werehog, he wants to group as many Puyos as possible when he. Sense off his chain because he knows that the more Puyos you erase, the, more, the bigger the score will be, the more points you score, and therefore more garbage is sent over. That's very risky there from GB. Not sure what he's trying to do there with, with that in stairs. That's、yeah, nice、free chain now. Counter with a free chain. Which counters everything in his a l l Watch the counter everything in his priority. One short. Free chain again from,、um, from Werehog. Trying to apply the pressure on to GB. So Werehog has a speed advantage. He's again, another good free chain coming up. Two chain will counter a tiny bit of it. He's going to leave his、uh, resources buried there. Now then. GB is going to do in order to get himself out. His blocks is yellows, and this is going to build, build a chain. Careful, it's quite close up to the top. Oh, w e r e h o l d with that free chain. Not going to get the goods in time, it's GB, and he takes a tumble. And w e r e h o l d so far is untroubled, going 3 0 up. Alright, so with free chain now from GB. Chain in return, blocking about a third of the garbage overall. Then GB, what are you going to do? Looks to be building with greens. Interesting free chain there, he had the multiple triggers. Free chain in return from w e r e h o l d Sends five on the backswing. That's going to be countered. One on the backswing there from GB. Oh, 8 13. Nice. Two chain there. A quarter of the damage blocks with that two chain there. And another two chain. Digital damage just starting to build up on GB's side of the field. His resources buried somewhat. 
Whereas G, whereas, sorry, Werehog has a lovely four chain there. Using that garbage link to extend by one. Nice four chain. 39 garbage resolved. Now GB under real pressure. He's just trying to dig out as quickly as he can. Whereas Werehog, I think, is just trying to find the right Puyo set off his chain. Trying to go the other route, maybe. Got conf he's got confidence with yellows here with the green. Now he's going to use the blue as his trigger and set up a nice four chain. Which is going to take the game as far away from GB. And he goes 4 0 up, so he's got the bonus point. Is he going to end this match with a clean sweep? GB with it all to do. He's definitely under pressure. He's, uh, you know what? He's a nice Puyo's for stairs to begin with. He needs to be sure. Attacks coming in from, from Werehog. It's got enough there for the yellows. Oh, he's blocked himself and he can't get it over. That's a terrible mistake there from from GB. He now needs to try and do something else in order to get through to his resources. Two chains still going on. Oh, that's a nice block there. Oh, but then having said that, GB... Oh, has GB got the wrong way with that? I suspect he might have done. Oh, four chain now from Werehog. It's only a two chain. It's only a two chain from GB, and his resources well and truly blocked. He'll kick himself. He takes a concession and he says thank you very much. And Werehog wins at five nil. Takes the bonus point in the process. All right, so here we go. Zombie on the left, Francis Zombie on the left, and GB on the right. And we see that both players are looking to engage stairs as their um, technique of choice. Though GB seems to be going kind of like a, a power chain route. Nice power chain base there. I'm going to try and see if he can get um, rings, but he needs to be quick because there's attack coming off from random zombie. Oh, that was tame. I think he just saw the chain that. Uh, that random zombie had. And he goes 1 0 up as a result. Alright then, so into the second game. And. Opening Gambit seems exactly the same between both players. <laughs> Virtually mirrored measure for measure. This is ridiculous. Are they watching each other play? No, only, only for like the first eight Puyo placements. <laughs> Oh, how interesting. It does happen. And it looks as if, um, well, the roles have been reversed. Again, zombie caught napping there. But zombie needs to now do some digging, whereas GB needs to find a way to pack zombie away. It's looking alright so far, actually, for GB. He just needs to... Ah, oh, I was going to say, he had a better Puyo coming up for the attack. I'm going to go for a two chain. That might actually do it. Yes, it does. But that's pretty good, that overall. So it's one all now. Oh, it's happening. I don't know. Okay, no. Okay, maybe they are paying attention to one another. I don't know. I, think, I don't know. Is this against the rules? Have we got have we got rules for analysis like this where... <laughs> first first Puyo place was eerily similar. It's like watching two comms play when their AIs are more or less similar. Anyway, two chains from random zombie battered back with a three. Brings it down to just four. Two chain on the return. So, going into it and the resources is cleaner for random zombie. But a nice little two chain here from GB. Starts to bury a little bit of resources for random zombie, but he can still build up quite nicely. The two chain ready with those purples. I lied. Two chain at all. I think I need to go to spec savers. Uh, anyway, two chain from GB and um, say that zombie's under a little bit of pressure at the minute. Okay, two chain now from GB. Try. Oh, a little bit tennis. <laughs> That's it all splatter in the garbage there. Again, two chain from GB trying to put the pressure on random zombie. Or not a perfect block by any stretch. 
Okay, what's... Oh, it's the right, right Puyo Red. Oh, I put it in the wrong position. It's gone for the two chain that way. I did have a four chain with that, with that red blue, but it wasn't spotted. Oh, this is a good little chain here from Random Zombie. Digging back down to his resources. Still needs to try and find a way. Eight for five. Still needs to try and find a way to get through. There we go. Nice big two chain. And the reversal's on. Margin time's starting to kick in. <laughs> and unfortunately, GB gets taken out. There's two ones to Random Zombie. Okay, so far. Now then, slightly different now between both players, not trying to copy each other as it were. And GB looking at a four chain. Is he going to keep extending or is he going to let it loose? He's going to let it loose. It's four against a five. I think Zombie's chain is better. going to send nearly an orange back. Now then, two chain for a two chain. Okay, so Random Zombie, it's got a nice little amount of resources. It's just chipping into it now. Is that gonna block? No, it doesn't. It doesn't block all the way. Oh, it's a power two chain here for GB, which he gets. It's gonna bury the resources from Random Zombie. Marching time will start to kick in in a little bit. Marching time starts kicking in after 96 seconds of play. Which of course is 1 minute 36. Oh, nice little 2 chain there. And he's down through to his resources as well. That might take him out, it does. And it's 2 all. The clock exactly 1 minute 24. Almost building in mirror now. Almost. Much nicer this from GB. Okay, first attack to Zombie. And GB's gone the right way, I think, actually. He's going to try and maximise the exposure on greens, but he does need that yellow. He's able to get it in just. Sends garbage back. Eight, number two chain. And those resources are now buried on Zombie's end. And then what's Sir uh, GB gonna do? Yep, he realises he needs the yellows there to complete the chain. He gets another free chain off. Oh, Team Garbage. 74, topping that up by another four. Now then, Zombie in a spot above her. He's trying to dig himself out this hole. Whereas the only thing that GB needs is a nice, nice chain to pack Zombie away. Zombie digging for all it's worth. Ooh, 9 for 5. New chain. Might have come a tad too late actually because um, Random Zombie's back down to his resources and he's got a 4 chain ready. Look at the amount of reds, 90 for 14, that's a lovely chain. And now margin time starts to come into play. Not that it's needed on this occasion. Zombie able to break through, GB just wasn't quick enough in trying to find a kill switch. He goes 3-2 up to Zombie, random Zombie against GB, 2 4 7 4 one. Okay, from GB. Got reds there. And it may, okay, he's going to erase them. Unfortunately, he kept them there. To be honest, he's lacking yellows on the other side, but he's got a reversible tail. Or oh, that might be bad. That is fatal. That's what we call Paul leaving cricket in parlance. <laughs> Top of off stomp, knock back. And GB equalises. It's free all. Mind you, this is a Rock League match, and this being the Rock League, it's first to five that wins. 
Obviously, with the score being free all, no bonus point will be awarded to the winner, as you need to win with free by clear free points. Hey, so it's perspective and I'm not sure what GB's trying to do. I really am not sure what GB's yeah, plenty of time to get a fire chain. Mind you, wear reds. Got reds, but it's too late. Oh, it's no backdoor chain there either, actually. The GB actually marches into the lead. He leads by one. It's four three. Stands. <laughs> Cheeky little single chain. Question is, can GB pull out something? Order him to take the game. He goes for a quick free chain. Oh, that was a right cutter there for, uh, for random zombie. I think he'll kick himself. He did have a trigger. Now then, yellows. There's no yellows there. And it's Gonski. And GB takes it. Five games to three against random zombie. Good games all round. Ash against a set. Let's begin a league contest. Must be done here. So, Ash, formerly known as Blue Woomy. Just in case people were wondering. Looks as if it's an interesting stairs pattern this from, from Ash. Oh, he looks pretty proficient. He gets a nice chain off immediately. A sec gets a free chain off. But this is a six chain, and I have a feeling there's nothing there. It's 121 garbage. <laughs> Nothing there at all, and Ash takes the first game. Interesting choice. Not many people play as Hartman, actually, to be fair. Quite a few play as Harpy, but not many as Hartman. Anyway, enough of me rabbiting on about that. It's looking pretty good. This is nicely built here from from Ash. Really good with stairs. Oh, nice to chain this. Forces Ash to try and do something different. Get himself into a position where he can do things. A single chain. Got blues that he can set off, so he's got a four chain ready. Now and then a set. Oh, nothing really there, actually. Can it? It's 2-0 to Ash going on. Match is over in about 40 odd seconds. Let's see what's going on. Hey, interesting stuff there from Ash. He's managed to get himself going. Boy, he's missing a green. Or is he going the other way? I I'm not sure what Ace is trying to do here, but he's in a real big spot of bother because he's missing greens. He gets a free chain which blocks all of that off, but missing he's missing he was missing greens. He just has to go the other way. Nice little two chain poke there from from Ash trying to keep himself in it. Okay then, a set needs blues and he needs them quick. Well, I don't think he's gonna get them. No, no blues there. Buried in garbage. Ash goes three nil up. Hey, can you to see what Ash is this way? It's semblance of freestyle maybe. Okay, free chain now from Aset trying to get the early attack in which he's successful in doing. Residual block. Ooh. Ash is being brave. Is he going blues with yellows? No. He might still be getting with blues. Oh, I'm not sure what Ash is doing. He has, he's got a chain. Big power chain. Yellows on top for 32. Oh, there's no blues there for, for A set, that's unfought. And that's gonna block him off completely. He needs to try and do some magic, but I don't think he's gonna get there. Got no way of getting there, he's gonna have to concede. 
looking like a clean sweep for Ash. He goes 4 0 up. A set yet to break his duck. Quick attack there straight away from Ash. Chain back. Um, A set. Seem to see what. Uh, Looking at the stairs pass, that's not a bad pattern, although you'd think a better way of handling it. Actually, it's just it's waiting it's for the perfect colour. It's I mean, he's not blocked by any stretch. It's it's Near two chain there from Ramash that catches. Ooh, that's brave. It's able to get himself back into some kind of position. It's a big power 5 chain. It's over 4 inches of garbage. Gambit did pay off in the end for Ash, it was a bit risky. And it's a clean sweep as Ash takes a set by 5 games to nil. Alright then guys, we've got another game coming up right here, and it's going to be Random Zombie against Ash. Ash put up a pretty good showing against his uh, game with a set that we saw a moment ago. But now that we are definitely ready to rock and roll, away we go. Random Zombie against Ash. And he can. I had what happened in the pre GP Open happen in the league. Oh, this is very good from. from oh, okay, I was going to say it's very good from Ash. He was looking at GTR, but. Interesting. Yeah, I can see what Zombie's doing. He's sticking to tight, which is going for stairs. Got a nice free chain coming up. Power two into the free. That's good. Oh, he needs to be careful now. Does um dash power two chain neutralizes about three quarters of that. Now then, zombie needs to build back up because while this erratic playstyle of Ash can be a bit difficult to follow, it does give him resources. Goes for a free chain. Interesting way of getting that free chain and catches zombie on the frame. Another free chain. Ooh, it's good stuff, this from Ash. Being able to really pinpoint the pressure, apply it onto random zombie. Here then, digging must commence. Whereas Ash just needs to try and find a kill switch somewhere. I don't know, good, let's do reds. Attack going. Ooh. Nothing there for zombie. Well, Sash goes one nil up as a result of this. Okay, into the second game now. Interesting that. Ash, I thought Ash was going for stairs, but I think he might have made a bit of a mistake, whereas Random Zombie is definitely going stairs, but he needs reds. He needs reds. Then he got a 2 chain because he needed reds. Whereas, there's a power 4 chain from Ash because he had reds. Oh, that's really painful. And I have a feeling this might take Eat. Random Zombie out. He really needs to dig and... Eat. Eat. Whereas all oh, Ash needs to do is get a nice nice chain in. The deed is done. Oh, that's Eat. bad from Random Zombie. Eat. And he can't go anywhere. 2-0 to Ash. Into the third game now, and Ash is leading. Eat. 
chain there from Zombie. Blocks off um, Ash's charge there. He's going the other way. Brave. He actually had the right Puyos there for a four chain. He's kind of messed that up now. Panic may be starting to set in. Eats. Eats. Green. Purples. Eats. It's risky from. Okay, two chain now. Yes. Yes. Now three into a four by a lot of things. Or into a five even. Good recovery there from Ash. Zombie has no answer for the moment as Ash goes 3 0 up. He's in bonus point territory as well. Looking for a back to back clean sweep in the context of things. He got that clean sweep against A set a moment ago. So you're looking for a back to back clean sweeps against Zombie. This is not bad. This is quite nice actually from. Ash, well, he's got to be careful now because this five chain from. Oh, lovely five chain from Zombie. Curtains for Ash. No clean sweep. No back to back clean sweep. Zombie is off the mark. Still trading by two, but he's off the mark. When, when Ash gets going with building stairs, it's not bad. It just needs to... Oh, 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 random zombies wisened up. Saw that mistake of having nothing to go. That two chain will certainly take it away. All Ash can do is just surrender tamely and it's back-to-back -back wins for Zombie. Now only trading by one. In. We get the first attack in. Nice Puyos these for Zombie. Oh, is he going to build up? He's going to go for four chain now. And yeah, there's nothing there for Ash. Oh, Ash has just realised he's had nothing there, and the chain from Zombie was there to see. It was easily choreographed, but Ash didn't see it. He's not able to get anywhere. And as quick as you'd like, Zombie has equalised things. Patrick of wins, three on the bounce, and would you know it, there's an all clear start. Who's gonna. Nope, they're both neutralising that threat completely, and I do not blame them for that. First attack to Ash. Meanwhile. Now then. What next for Zombie? It's just not bad actually for Mash. He's realising he's got a free chain there now. He's going to go for a four. Is he going to build with reds? Yes, he's going to build with reds. Going for a power three into a four. Oh. How'd you like them apples? And there's nothing there at all. A random zombie. He's kind of painted himself into a wall, okay. He has painted himself into a corner. Nothing there. Gone for all the money. There's no bonus point. I mean, that just evaporated with the three back to back wins. But Ash is now on match point. And zombies. <laughs> and he can attack again, but fine. Can zombies somehow. Can random zombies somehow. Turn it into a nine point set. He's got greens. Is he going to go power route? I think he is. This is interesting for Zombie. Is he going to self in it into this? Then he got himself a two chain at the minute. Oh, he had the red Puyos there. Oh, that's not a bad four chain. It's to block, it blocks a bit of it, and he's still taking massive damage, so the impetus is now with Ash. Is he going to try and find a way to pack Zombie up? He needs to. Zombie just needs to trust himself that he can dig himself out of this. 
Go for, not going for Okay, power free chance. Well, it's going to go for power single there. That's pretty much going to take Zombie out of it. I don't think he's going to. No. Nothing there. Bit of a scare. With those three back to back wins from Zombie, but it is Ash that takes it by five games to three. Perfect. Alright, so for the last game we're going to do today is going to be Ash versus GB24741. Let's get Serenity Cam to do the honours. And we're starting with an all clear. Wonderful. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh! Ash is the first to pull the trigger, and that's a stealthy little block there. But the thing is, GB now has the advantage, and if he's able to erase the chain, which he does, buries those resources as well. So, Ash is much quicker. Is a much quicker player, so he will be more confident in digging out. Of course, he's looking to chain as well, which is always the best thing. Double two chain here. Oh, oh, oh that hasn't caught. No, it has not caught um, GB on the frame. So, they're able to safely negotiate and. Another fine that damage. Two chain meanwhile from GB. Oh, surprised that didn't fall. Would have thought that would have fallen after that exchange. But it didn't. Which allowed GB to get another single in to try and bat away a bit more of that garbage. GB doing well to try and dig back to resources. Likewise, Ash is back at his resources. No, not a successful block there. Certainly is there though, and another two chain from Ash, keeping the pressure on. Oh, seven and that rogue single pull into column three. Unfort, really there, unfortunate for um, GB, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, and Ash goes one nil up. Now then, GB needs to be aware of what he's doing because if he takes his time, he's going to allow Ash firmly in the contest. Oh, Ash has got a power chain coming up, which he unleashes. Two chain in return. It takes about a third of the garbage out. Oh, three and another three. Hey, GB buried. He's got some resources that are available to him, but he just needs to get the right colours. He's got yellows coming up, is he going to get blocked? Yes he is. But that won't, he won't mind that because he's got purples, he can use purples to his advantage but he needs to be quick! He needs to get the purple in quick! Is he caught in the frame? No he's not. He gets a free chain off, it'll counter some of it. Oh ho, he's just about in it. Really cannot afford to be slow because Ash is quick and Ash will punish you if you're too slow. Here we go, another two chain, caught on the frame this time. Nothing too bad that GB cannot negotiate. Alright then. That's the right colour combination there for a chain. No, it's going to do anything though to be fair. And Ash wraps that up and goes tune it up. As if both are going with stairs. I'll tell you what, it's nice to put those for stairs, this. Get okay, a truncation now. Where is uh, Ash going to go with this truncation? Can't keep searching for the perfect Puyos. You won't necessarily get them. Though he did have him a couple of Puyos coming up, but he's now in serious trouble. Oh, is that going to block him? We can still get out. Oh, but not for much longer. He's not going to be able to get it over. He has no space. He needed those double yellows. Oh, Boy for 183. Nice bit of play there from GB as he claws one back and gets off the mark. Well, we've got six pairs of doubles. RNG, what are you doing? Quite difficult to start with, actually, with those. 
<laughs> I'll tell you what, Ash has found an all clear. God, okay. And he has got the impetus. That'll certainly take GB away. Nothing there. Scouting for all clears has paid dividend for Ash in that match. Ow. Find hard not to influence the game. It's really Cam takes the deliver the garbage during that exchange as well. Okay, four chain there from Ash. He's building up. So you can see Ash is okay at starting to build, but he's relying too much on the perfect Puyo to get get him the chain he needs. So nice power six. Oh, it's a star of garbage. Oh. -ho -ho. Ball one, bonus point in his hands so far, and he is on match point. Alright then. So, again, stairs build from Ash. Two chain from GB. Ooh, lovely power two chain. It's a swamp attack. Almost an orange on the backswing. That is a lot of garbage, and you can sense the ash and smell blood. Yellows and blues are what he needs to really pack the game away. Going for a free chain. And have blues for a while, actually. Trying to keep the pressure on GB, trying to keep him quiet while he's able to build up. Get a chain off. He's got a four chain ready. That should be enough. Not going to be enough really for GB to do anything. 33 garbage. 3 F to fall has fallen and it's 5 1 to Ash as he takes the match and the bonus point against GB 24741. Just a reminder that, of course, this has been the PGB League Season 3 stream with matches that have taken place today in the Rock League, which is happening from the 6th to the 20th of April. Star League, which will be the next tier up, will be from the 21st of April to the 3rd of May. Moon League, which will be the tier up from that, 4th to 17th of May. And then our Top League, our Crown League, from the 18th to the 31st of May. This has been, of course, PooGB. We are the UK's official Poo, Poo community. We do events, gatherings, tournaments, competitions, and, of course, eSports. We are the leading voice eSports and for Puyo as a competitive game in the UK and Ireland. All of the details in order to get in contact with us are on the screen as you see. So that's going to do it. This will be Blue Hair Case signing out and please, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Catch you next time.